Hi guys, Autumn here today for week two and week three of um, September weekly wrap up. Um, I read a total of 11 books in the last two weeks. Um, so I'm going to talk about the first two, which were the Rude Me Romances. So we have A Bride Worth Fighting For by Tracy Lauren. This was the first book by this author that I've read. This was an alien human story. Um, this was Rumi Romance Podcast number 93. I used this for the Sunpack Outer Space um, on Romanceopoly. Um, I gave this 3 out of 5 stars. This follows Evie who gets kidnapped and um, Surfy baby um, who is an alien and he is a fighter and it's their story. And then the other new me romance I read was Fantasy with the Felon by QB Tyler. This is first book by this author. I gave this three out of five stars. Um, this follows Cam uh, Camilla and Asher. Um, read me romance podcast number ninety four. Instant love. Um, this follows Camilla, who is a law student, and Asher, who is a felon, um, and Camilla is trying, or Camilla is trying to um, get Asher out, released early from his prison um, time, and yeah, it's that story. I gave it three out of five stars. And then all of the other books I read were physical, so we have a lot. So we have Perfect Love Story by Natasha Madison. This is book one in the Love Story series. This um, is book number nine for Becca's bookopoly a -thon. I use this, uh, this cover, the prompt for um, light cover. I give this four out of five stars. I listened to this on audio. This follows Haley. Um, who is married, um, and in the beginning, you find out that her husband dies, um, and he is actually hiding a secret, um, and she finds out, and then she wants to get away with um, from that, and her grandma, Nana, tells her she should go to um, her beach house, and at that beach house, she meets Jenison, Jensen, um, who is her neighbor, and it's that story. I gave this four out of five stars, really cute. Then I read Still You Away by Victoria Ashley, first book by this author. This was a romance reveal book box, um, and number 10 for the Becca's bookopoly -thon. This meant the challenge for most recent purchase. Um, as I said, it came in my romance reveal book box. I gave this four out of five stars. This follows Kennedy, um, who is dating a guy that I can't think of, Dex. Um, and then Colson, Dex's brother, comes back. Um, and he has a thing for Kennedy. So it is brother's girlfriend book. Um, I really enjoyed this. Four out of five stars. Um, and I'm excited to pick up more books by Victoria Ashley. Then I read From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armitrout. Um, this met the challenge for um, chance card for Becca's Bookopoly. So this is number 11. For Becca's Bookopoly, I read this for the Moon Point Moon Pack on Romance Opoly, The Vault. This is a romance reveal book box. Um, I gave this four out of five stars. I listened to this on audio. This is book one in the Blood and Ash series. This is a paranormal fantasy whatnot book. Um, this follows Poppy and Hulk. Um, so Poppy is a chosen one at birth, and one night she decides to go out and she meets a guard, or a guy, and then it turns out he's her guard, um, and it's that story. 
Um, four out of five stars. I did like it. Um, it was a little slow in the beginning. Um, and then towards the end it picked up. So that's why it's a four star. I read A Thousand Boy Kisses by Tilly Cole. I gave this five out of five stars. This was book number 12 in Romanceopoly. I'm not Romanceopoly, Becca's Bookopoly. Um, for Sad Book, I cried. This book ripped my heart out. Um, it is a YA book that follows um, Poppy and Rune. Um, they are next door neighbors and best friends. And it's their story. I don't want to tell you too much else about it because I think it's better going in not knowing. Um, but five out of five stars, ugly cry book. Then I read The Original Crowd by Tijin. This is point five in the Whole New Crowd series. This is the original book that she um, wrote and then never published until the fans were asking her to write, uh, publish it. This is the original version of A Whole New Crowd. Um, so, yes. And this month uh, is number 13 for Becca's Bookopoly a -thon, um, for Big Book over 500 pages. This is 588 pages, so it counts. I gave this four out of five stars as follows. Um, Torin and Trey. Um, Torin is um, really good at stealing things, and then she gets adopted in her senior year of high school, and she moves to a new school. And in that school, she meets Trey, who is like a drug dealer, but not really. He's just dealing um, steroids. Um, and yeah, it's their story. Four out of five stars. Then I read I Hate You by Isla Mana Mills. Um, I gave this five out of five stars. Listen to this on audio. This is a romance reveal book box book. I use this for Sunpack Flirts Corner on Romanceopoly and book number 14 for Becca's Book Gallopoly for Pet Pick um, or Friend Pick, Pet Pick, whatever. Um, I gave this five out of five stars as follows. Um, Charisma, who is a bit of a nerd, um, and Blaze. Um, they had a little fling going on and then Blaze said, broke it off. Um, and then it's their senior year, if I remember correctly, of college, and he wants to get back with Charisma. Um, it's really cute. I listen, as I said, I listened to this on audio. Five out of five. Then I read Not the One by Tony Aleo. This is book one in the Spring Grove series, um, a short little novella length. I give this four out of five stars. This follows Genevieve and Theo, um, and um, they were dating um, in high school, and then something happens, and Genevieve leaves, um, and then she comes back. Um, she is an author, and she's coming back to Spring Grove to finish writing her book, and there she sees Theo again, and yeah, four out of five stars. This was number 15 for Romance, um, Becca's Bookopoly for the Community Shelf Challenge. Then I read A Girl Like Her by Talia Hibbert. Um, I listened to this on audio from Audible Escape Package, which is going away here soon. Um, but this was book number 16 for, um, Becca's Bogopoly a thon for Pulpic, and this is what won the Pulpic. Um, this is book one in Raven Woods, and this follows Ruth and Evan. Um, and I gave this four out of five stars. Um, the only thing I, I have a hard time, uh, with the audiobook because it was only the guy's point of view. I mean, only a guy narrator, which is not bad. Um, I was just not expecting that. Um, and yeah, so 
four out of five. Um, I, I thought it was cute and yeah. And then I read The Return by Jennifer L. Armitrout. This is book one in the Titan series. I gave this four out of five stars. Um, this is a spinoff of the Covenant series. This follows Seth, who is Apollyon, um, and Josie, who is Apollo's daughter. And Seth is um, supposed to protect Josie. Um, and I, book number 17 for Becca's Bookopoly a -thon for first in the series. I also use this for Sunpack City Lane. Um, and I listened to this on audio. Um, but I enjoyed it. Sorry. Sorry about that. And then I am currently reading Things You Save in a Fire by Catherine Center. I am on page 192. I will probably finish this tonight, maybe, but I figured I would throw this in there. Um, this is going to be number 18 for Becca's Bogopoliathon for um, fire, something to do with fire. I don't remember what... Uh, has fire on the cover, something like that, fire on the cover. So, yes, um, I'm enjoying this so far. This follows Cassie, who is a woman firefighter, um, and she moved to t Boston or somewhere in Massachusetts to help take care of her, her mom. And, yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. Um, but those are all of... Okay. All of the books I read. If you want a full review on any of them, just let me know. Um, and yeah, what are some books you read in the last two weeks? And I'll see you guys later. Bye.